Hey everyone, it's Matt aka Tech Ranger, and today we are going to take a look at the Mercenary, which is basically a combination of mods. It's the Mercenary Pack, Armor, Uniform, Chris Factor Submachine Gun, and the Scar LK Assault Rifle, which you might know from Crisis, but I think they all form a pretty neat package to uh, go ahead and start a new game with or add to your existing game in Fallout 4. So let's take a look at all of these. So first up, you gotta dress and press. So go ahead and download the Mercenary Pack. Now this one is the biggest mod of the bunch. You're also gonna need to install the Armorsmith stuff as well. Uh, you saw in the description there, and I'll obviously I'll link all this stuff as well. But um, you will need to install Armorsmith, Armorsmith Extended, and then have Mercenary under that. If you're unsure how that looks in your load order, I have it on video in the Forsaken Assassin Outfit Weapon Mod Combo video that I did, and I'll link that as well. As you can see, it adds some other armors in that the mod author has also worked on. But for the purpose of this video, we're concerned with the Mercenary Pack and everything that's in the Mercenary section, and there is a lot. So feel free to pick what you like here are some examples for you just so you can kind of get an idea what stuff looks like there's also the rebel outfit included in all this as well i went for kind of the long sleeve the balaclava in the comments if i'm pronouncing that wrong let me know but um there's a really cool mask that you can get as well jackets bags you can even do the ncr armor if you want i kind of like this kind of alternate chess piece the orange with the black i think looks really nice So you've got your outfit, now you need a gun to go with your outfit. So we're going to make the Chris Vector submachine gun. Uh, this is the 2K version, just so you guys can kind of see the difference. If you're watching it on like a 1080p screen, if you see that it just looks that much better than the 1K version, then go ahead and by all means, if you have the space, download the 2K version. But if you really want to save space, download the 1K version. I'll have a link in the description and it's like 200 megs smaller. You might want to go with that one depending on where you're at with your load order. Here you can see all the attachments. There's a ton. You can trick this thing out the way you want it. And I think that's what makes a lot of these weapon combos like super cool and customizable with kind of your play style is that you can kind of do whatever you want. Let's see how it sounds because let's be honest, that's really important when you're just ravaging through the wasteland. So we've got one more piece to our little combo here, and that is the Scar LK Assault Rifle. And you can actually find that on the map at a specific location, and that's at uh, Fort Strong. So this is actually the smallest mod on the list. In fact, the 1K textures of the Chris Vector is like 10 or so megs more than this one. Uh, so if you went with that one, just so you kind of know, like you'd have at least 70, almost 80 with those two mods together. Anyways, moving on to finding the actual assault rifle. I had to go all the way down in Fort Strong. You kind of go in that elevator in the back of the uh, house that you walk into. And you're going to go all the way down and basically kind of do what you remember doing from like the Brotherhood of Steel mission if you've done that one before. If not, this leisurely stroll that I'm doing to try to find this assault rifle, you're actually going to be fighting your way through the place. So just so you know, thought I'd put that in there. So you'll come across this staircase the farther back you go into F Fort Strong in the bottom of the place and you'll find this construction equipment and I actually just found this just floating there and if you guys find it on a shelf or something or just on the floor let me know in the comments. I just thought it was kind of an interesting way to put something into the game. You can not buy this from vendors as well but it you never know if you're going to find it from a certain vendor. So let's hear how this thing sounds. It's a pretty cool one. Um, it does look kind of like it's like elongated, almost like your field of view sliders, like jacked up all the way. If there's anyone watching this that has made a mod, weapon mod, or has any clarity on the issue, definitely put that in the comments down below. I still think the gun looks really cool though, and you can mod it to your heart's content, just like most of the weapon mods I've tested so far. Uh, there's just a ton of stuff that you can do to this thing. So on top of speeding up the footage of showing you all the mods, I'm going to add another bit in where I'm speeding it up so you guys can see just how many mods and things you can do to this particular weapon.
And that does it for our mod combo. The mercenary pack with the armor and the outfits, as well as the Chris Factor submachine gun and the Scar LK assault rifle. I hope this video was helpful for those that are interested in trying out some armor and weapon mods. There's a ton out there, and I'd like to do more videos on them. So if you guys like these type of videos, I will definitely make more. If you guys sound off in the comments and like the video. So obviously I had to test some of this stuff out. So I just kind of ran around and picked some fights with some NPCs just to see how all of this worked and came together. I was thinking I was in this comic book store and I had the scar out and uh, there were ghouls everywhere and I ended up using the scar LK assault rifle pretty much throughout the entire thing thinking why did I not switch to the vector because this is so much better suited for this encounter and I think I finally actually did and man it was pretty gnarly using that thing throughout the whole uh, comic book store. So that about does it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching again. If you guys have any feedback as far as how these videos are put together, what could go into them, what should be taken out, let me know. I'm trying to keep them kind of below 10 minutes, at least for these kind of quick mod reviews or like looks into mods. That way I can make like the, the bigger mod videos, like the top fives or the top tens, a little bit longer just so like you guys can go from timestamp to timestamp where these are kind of more long form, but they're shorter. That way you get everything that you need without being here for 10 plus minutes of your life. And you can go and play some Fallout 4. So if you got feedback for that, let me know about it. And if not, that's okay. Uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching once again. I know I said that like three times now in the video. I repeat myself a lot. Have a great weekend if you're watching this on a Friday. And have a great day otherwise. Bye.